Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Windows 11 version 22H2, the um, widget board is quite basic um, as to the options that are available. I mean, we get a couple of things like you can add uh, the widgets that are available to the widget board. Um, you can obviously uh, increase the size to full screen. And if you click on your profile, you have three options available for your widget settings. Now, this could all be set to change. And currently, um, in the stable version, there is no way to actually turn off the news feed. So the news feed you get, um, you know, as part of your uh, feed from uh, Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Start does appear um, on the widget board by default. Now, this could all be set to change because at Microsoft's uh, keynote at uh, Build 2023 um, this week, they um, have announced and did show a concept um, during the presentation um, at the Build 2023 of a new widget board with a new layout. So if we head over to uh, that screenshot taken from that presentation, um, there is now an option to actually disable the news feed completely, which I actually think, as I always say, would be a nice move in the right direction, especially if you don't want to be bombarded with news and clutter day in and day out. And uh, um, so that means that later this year, according to that announcement and this concept from the uh, Build 2023 conference, um, Windows 11 will receive three widget views. You'll get a widget only with no feed, which we currently have uh, as an example in this screenshot. This is widgets with no feed. So all there are are widgets pinned to the widget board. Um, you get a feed only with no widgets. So the reverse will happen. You will just get a news feed and then a mix of both. So that means that's the current version. So that's going to be very similar to how it is currently uh, in the stable version of Windows 11 22H2, where you get a mix of widgets and a news feed. So I thought this was interesting, and I actually think this will bring a lot more versatility uh, to how the widget and the widgets board does behave and does act in Windows 11. And obviously, um, it gives you a lot more options. And I think for some users, being, being able to disable the news feed completely, I think would be a nice move. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.